Hey, I'm Jay Frechette, and you're watching the Bulletin from PAX East in Boston. Cue montage. This week, we go behind the scenes of the Halo Championship Series Finals, hang out at the Xbox booth and play some Halo 5 Guardians with Optic Gaming's Flame Sword, and share fresh picks for the week. It has been an amazing weekend at PAX East, but to kick things off, I would like to remind you all that Halo Nightfall will be coming to DVD, Blu-ray, and VOD services on March 17th. We've stitched all five episodes together, and it introduces Agent Locke, who must uncover the secrets of a rogue Halo fragment. I don't know about you, but I really miss the Halo 5 Guardians beta. I mean, sure, I work at 343 Industries and I get to play it here and there at the office, but it's not like I could just go home, hop into matchmaking, and just start kicking ass whenever I want. Well, lucky for me, we brought the beta with us to PAX, so I invited Halo Pro Flame Sword to play a few rounds. So Mike, here we are, Halo 5 Guardians Beta. Thank you for joining me, my friend. Thanks for inviting me as usual. Yeah, it's really cool to play this with you too, because I remember when you guys were at the office with us, like the first time we ever showed the game. What are some of the, your takeaways that you really enjoyed about the beta? I liked how the matchmaking worked. I liked the whole ranking system and how you could make sure that you're always competing against someone your own skill level. And to see it work as good as it did is just amazing, because now we know, you know what we're going to be looking for, that evenly competitive. Oh, the overkill. Ah! Who stole it? I took it. That was no, me. Come on, man. You can't be doing that. Introduced a lot of new abilities in Halo 5 Guardians. As a competitive player, how have you added those to your repertoire based on the beta? The clamber is cool because now you can just kind of get to new heights, and it changes up a lot of the styles of attack that you can go at. The ground and pound has to be my most favorite one. Just soaring above everyone else, trying to get them in a little pack, and then just ground pounding them is the best feeling in the world. Breakout, like the most common thing, right? Go get the BR right away. Is that kind of your strategy, like the key weapon for you in yeah, this Yeah, because mode? the BR, you know, obviously long range, medium range uh, power weapon. And in this, it basically takes almost two shots to kill someone. Oh, wow. I'm going for the freebie kill. And that's what you want because of how easy it is to kill people. You have a longer scope than your SMG and your pistol. So, you know, you land two perfect headshots and boom, you have the upper advantage on the other team. Yeah, because I mean, you know, the, the way the mode basically breaks down is uh, it's first team to win five rounds, but the trick is you don't have any shields and there's no respawn. You really just want to make sure that you do coordinated pushes, right? If you charge by yourself, the, the scoreboard tells you yourself how many people you have in your team right, alive. Exactly. So you want to keep an eye on that because once you have the upper advantage, you should automatically always win that round because they shouldn't be able to outgun you 3v4 because of how much low shield you do have. Absolutely. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jay. Always a pleasure. Even to get beat by you, it's still a good time, for sure. It's a learning experience, you yeah, know? definitely. PAX East is also home to the Season 1 Finals of the Halo Championship Series, where right now, Noble Black is battling CLG to see who will advance to the Grand Finals to battle evil geniuses where $100,000 will be on the line. The team at 343, along with our partners at ESL, have put together a pretty impressive broadcast, and it takes a ton of work and coordination to pull off a tournament like this. To learn more, I hung out backstage to see how it all works. So Linux, you have been the broadcast director for all of our LAN events that we've been doing for the Halo Championship yeah. Series. Uh, watching you guys back here, there are a ton of moving parts. How do you do it? So back here, we have a crew of about five to 10 people. We have me directing, then I have a technical director who's doing all the switching, a graphics coordinator who's doing all the graphics for me, and an older engineer. And we also have all the refs and all the main stage managers all there. And every single person is in my ear talking at once. And it's my job to just bring everyone together on the same page and put on a good show for the viewers. A lot of this production is done with a partnership with ESL. Can you uh, explain kind of what their participation is for the tournaments with us? Yeah, so basically we have Free for Free running the league and we partner with ESL to run a lot of these broadcasts. And what ESL brings is all the production crew and the staging and all the lighting for us. It's a team of a lot of guys back here and they're all doing a great job. I mean, from the crew back here to the rest on the main stage and to the casters, and of course, number one, the players. Well, I can tell you, I'm being on the other side of the stage. It was a pleasure to watch. You guys nice. just did a fantastic you. job, you and DSL, putting it together. Thank you, my friend. Well done. And now it's time for Fresh Picks. The Halo Championship Series update number two, The Road to the Finals, is available right now on the Halo channel. 
This episode recaps the HCS Gamers Forgiving Tournament and sets the stage for this weekend's finals here at PAX East. Plus, we learn about the Gamers Outreach Foundation, the charity organization that runs Gamers Forgiving. And I also recommend you check out Oni Eyes Only, a collection of second stories that expand on the plot of Halo Nightfall. Revealed through classified Oni Eye files, each episode shows a new perspective on the Sedra attack and the strange element involved. And that's it for us this week from PAX East. Thank you so much to everyone who came and watched the HCS Finals. We'll see you next time on The Bulletin.